Yeah, I want to go over uh, something. They changed in software into uh, spooky software recently, and, I, and uh, you know, I'm not a technical person. I'm going to give you two straight up in layman's terms. And actually, I ran uh, 24 hours of sweeps before on the old uh, programs, and now I guess they proved the program uh, where you don't need to run it 24 hours. It pretty much hits every pathogen. I think this is, might be a good idea, but you know, you're never gonna, you're only gonna find out if people experiment with it and see if they get results. That's what I want to say. Now I got a spooky generator. I got the 20, uh, 20 megahertz. You know, you don't even need to get that. You, you only need the five. I got another 10 one coming on hand, and it's good to have the two DNA holders. Uh, so I downloaded the new program, and the interface is a little bit different on it. Um, it doesn't have the button for like remote plasma and contact, you know, I guess five, you could just change the, uh, amplitude for contact. In other words, the voltage to higher or whatever you want. But, uh, I want to go over this one thing because, uh, this might be the deal right here. Um, it's a big spectrum sweep or it's actually called converge sweep. So you don't have to uncheck these, but just to make it a little more clear. Um, because uh, you could see what's going on. It's one of the custom frequencies in a program, and this program just came out on May 1st, and so this the uh, updated program just came out on May 1st, and it had the custom frequencies in here, so it's um, sweep. Let's put that in there, and you could see it has converge sweep right and spectrum sweep now those are supposed to be all encompassing now i was reading up on their um <laughs> you know the blogs or whatever if it was on the forum um you know what the specifications are because first i started running it and i says you know i better just read and see what's going on and make sure i'm doing it right so you double click this on and it goes down here in the uh box to uh that's going to be running the frequency but there is a modification you have to make actually on your out too they said to change this uh, you don't touch the second line with the volts but the Hertz you check you change that's a minus one and then you say plus uh, it's three million two five eight one two five so three million two five eight one two five you have to manually change those settings for the uh, convert sweep. It's not hard to do, but I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I just started running, and I says, you know, let me look up what's going on. So um, just putting it out. Now, what this sweep is supposed to do, you know, I, I'm not going to say it's going to, like, cure every disease or anything. I don't know what it's going to do exactly. Theoretically, it should hit every pathogen. Now, I have it set down here in a block to run. I made the the one change you got to make so make a manual change to this you got to change that to a minus one and then it's three million two fifty eight one twenty five you know the plus hertz this line stays the same with the volts and i guess it runs at five volts which is i guess that's a pretty much a normal parameter for many applications so you know here's the one generator i got on here click it on and you see the time duration is 4 hours and 11 minutes. Now that's a lot less than the other uh, way it was set up where you had to run, if you want to run every single aspect of the sweep, it would take 24 hours. So, you know, I just hit start, loads the waveforms. You know, I'm not a technical guy, I'm just saying that they did change the program just recently. I mean, just, just recently. Um, and it's vastly improved again so this is all in its infancy uh it's not even a year old basically it's a little over a year old i guess it's one year and one month um it's not even as old as my cats <laughs> anyway they're both running now so uh you could see the uh, led lights lit up on the dna remote holders and uh you know it's uh yeah, it may, or, you know, the thing is, you're not going to know how effective it is, I guess, if people try it out. Now, I'm going to tell you this. There are some aspects to the Rife technology that are definitely legit. 
I don't know. I don't understand this DNA remote or quantum entanglement. I don't understand it. I tried the um, the one with the eyesight yesterday, and I said, "Wow, that's weird." How it works so fast, but I'm assuming it didn't repair some of my eyesight. It must have uh, uh, caused my eyes not to be uh, so tired, and it enabled them to focus better. You know, I, it, and I don't think it was a placebo because I'm a very skeptical person. I'm like from Missouri, show me. But um, I do know that despite all the people that you know maybe knock the rife technology and stuff sometimes. I do know that the old way of doing things that have been around for some decades now from John Crane with the pad devices, they are somewhat effective on some of the frequencies. There's some merit to this stuff, no matter how you slice it. It's been around a while. There's definitely some merit to it. Now, I don't know about how effective this is going to be. This is something brand new, but I noticed that um, you had to actually change the settings and... Um, that's something you just don't you don't simply click on the button and run it you actually have to change the settings so on the out two for the second dna holder you want to run two dna holders with this sweep you want to run two of them on the out two the voltage remains the same but as far as the um, hertz you change the first parameter to minus one then the second parameter is plus three million two fifty eight one twenty five now, theoretically, this should knock out, well, I don't know if it's going to knock out, but it should um, hit every pathogen. You know, I don't know, like, you know, if, if even if a rife um, sweep is successful, maybe it's only going to get 5 or 10% of certain pathogens, maybe it'll get 50% of pathogens, whatever, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure how, you know, it would be idealistic if you could say, 100% of all pathogens that are bad for your body have been eliminated all in one sweep. I don't think it's going to do that damn good. Nothing, don't, you know, don't have faith in it that well. But it's probably going to be somewhat pretty, pretty, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a technical guy. But just want to say that the program has been improved, which shortens the time greatly. It's, this has just occurred in the last month. But you got to put in a couple parameters yourself to make this converge sweep run correctly and uh, if you don't put the parameters in yourself uh, it's not going to work as it's intended to work and as I stated you know before a couple times already you know it's you know it's a matter of uh, people actually have to test it try it out see how well it works for them because uh, a lot of it basically is experimental I would assume it's all experimental but uh, it doesn't mean it may not be effective it you know, very well could be very effective. But um, just want to point out that if you don't change those parameters, uh, the manual way, I said, where you have to change those parameters in the block, it's not even being run as intended. And if it's not run as intended, uh, you can almost be assured it's not going to be effective. So just make sure you try to run it, you run it as intended, because this program looks like it's being changed quite often and improved upon. And, um, you know, it could be the uh, panacea for the healthcare industry, or uh, maybe it'll be bad for the doctors. I don't know if it, you know, if it turns out to be extremely effective, uh, there's going to be some mad people out there, that's what I realize. But, you know, if it turns out to be extremely effective, let's hope that a lot of people jump on the ball and um, keep going, keep the ball rolling. And, you know, if this actually turns out to be the best thing in the world, that people keep it, keep it, keep it true, keep it true, and don't lose sight of what the truth is, because this is 99% of the problem. I've noticed this where people can be dissuaded by Hollywood advertising and just a lot of garbage that it, you know, the truth's been told to people over thousands of years ago, and the truth's been ignored. It's that's a fact with human nature. Um, you know, so, so I just want to put out that hopefully, you know, if this works as good as intended or it becomes to work eventually as good as intended, uh, that people do not drop the ball because there's going to be some big forces against this if um, this does really knock out a lot of pathogens 
because it's going to be a major threat to the pharmaceutical industry. But I don't know if it's that yet. I mean, I don't know how effective this is. People are going to have to test it, and I'm not the author of the program. I'm a tester. I'm a tester. I'm an experimenter. And, uh, you know, I just think uh, the technology definitely has a lot of merit because, as I pointed out before, with the uh, uh, the Russian space program, they use similar devices like this to keep uh, the cosmonauts from getting disease and uh, fighting pathogens. They use this in the uh, Russian Olympics to uh, uh, help their athletes recover faster from sports industry in, in injuries and things like that. It's not hocus pocus. The theory is not hocus pocus. You know that's the point. But uh, it's uh, some of what's going on here maybe is in its uh, infancy, and it may require more modification to be. I'm sure it's going to require more modification to be perfected but like I said I'm not the one that's modifying it I'm the one that's used I'm one of the people that's using it and uh, we'll see how well it works out for me who knows